Hey guys, my name's Kevin. Today I wanted to shoot a video on Tesla's latest software, 2022.20.6, specifically in regards to the cabin camera improvements. I've seen a lot of people question, can you still put a piece of tape over the cabin camera? Are you still able to use autopilot with the cabin camera uh, taped over? What about some of the data sharing uh, privacy issues? Let's go find out, let's get, let's get going. We'll uh, see if autopilot's gonna work. And uh, just thought I'd do a really quick shout out if you guys have not seen the carbon fiber uh, from Handshow. I will leave a link if you guys wanna check that out. I really love it. I didn't really like the wood, but uh, let's get this video started and uh, we'll go. All right guys, so I uh, just got in the car. I want to show that I did just cover the dash camera up with some blue painter's tape. Obviously, I would normally use uh, black electrical tape. I wanted to be really clear on camera that it is covered. I also wanted to verify here is the software. We are on 2022.20.6. And I also want to show that under privacy, all my settings are turned to no. And again, this is probably the one that people are concerned about is the cabin camera. Again, you know, Tesla says that we want to be very clear that protect your privacy. Cabin camera data will not be associated with your VIN. Um, so I have all of these set to no. We will submit that. We have the cabin camera covered. Now we'll just see if the autopilot works. So I'm pretty sure it will, but let's find out. Just uh, get... this is a 50 mile an hour road and Just uh, pop it in autopilot here and I'm not gonna touch the wheel. First uh, glance, it doesn't notice. It's um, still giving you the, you know, nudge the wheel because it feels I'm not doing that. But it doesn't appear that with the camera covered, that it's really making any noticeable difference in the ability to autopilot. This is where I've had some uh, phantom braking in the past on this road, actually right at that spot, but I'm pretty certain that the phantom braking, it's not been necessarily eliminated, but it's certainly been improved upon, I feel. I don't have absolute 100% proof, but I just, my experience, I feel it's been improved. But uh, guys, uh, I, I don't see um, any real change in uh, autopilot here. This is, um, again, this is driving 100% uh, how it was with the last update and 100% the same with the camera. Again, the camera is 100% covered. You know, we can go here just again real quick. Again, auto steer is enabled. Full self-driving visualization is enabled. Uh, we can see the other settings here. The green traffic light chime. That's actually uh, pretty nice. I've tried it for a couple of days now. I'd like them to modify it. I think it actually chimes at you too quickly. Uh, it, it like a second the light goes green, like the exact moment it chimes. Uh, you know, if I'm kind of watching the other light go yellow, I kind of have a feeling for when it goes green. So it goes green, you put your foot on the accelerator, you're already accelerating, but at that exact same moment it chimes, even though as your foot is already on the accelerator or just barely on it. I'd like to maybe delay it by 30 seconds or so. I'm not 30 seconds, you know, delay it by just a couple moments that way you know it's more of a hey you're not paying attention at the light um, get on the uh, accelerator uh, but again I've been having my hands off the wheel a lot here and I'm waiting to see oh it beeped at me but that's because I didn't touch the wheel for long enough but again guys this is a, uh, a non-issue I saw a lot of people uh, being worried that they were not going to install the software update because they, you know, they have their camera blocked and, and I understand their concerns. I really do. I understand why you might be concerned. 
Um, but I hope this video can help you guys out. There are no concerns about the ability to use... Now, you gotta be concerned about a guy blocking the road, but that's uh, not related to this. It's actually it's some trees down. That's that's why that car's turning around and that car's turning around, but we'll go ahead and pop it in autopilot on a curvy back road. This is kind of close to my house. Again, with the tape. This is actually a really pretty sharp corner. I'll just wiggle the wheel a little bit. There we go. Non-issue. The camera is a non-issue. If you want to go ahead, if you want to go ahead and cover it, there's been no problems. All right, guys. I hope this clears a few things up and I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe, guys. Thanks.